hundreds of families in my hometown, Louisville, Kentucky, are saving thousands of dollars every year on home repairs, things they need. So how are they doing it? Something called time banking. Instead of paying with money, they pay with their time. And everyone's time is equal. It's organized through Time Bank USA, a national group that helps communities get started and track their time. And time banking is booming. Now in 42 states in just three years, the number of time banks across the country have nearly doubled. It's a system of exchange that's going to connect neighbors with neighbors and strengthen our community. How does it work? Simple. Every hour that you give helping a member will earn you one time credit that you can then spend receiving help from someone else. In the time bank, one hour equals one time credit. Instead of working for money, a national network of people are helping each other by sharing their time and talents. Time banks are helping communities get back to work. Scraping paint, fixing the sink, washing windows. Costly project 61-year-old Judy Capel can no longer afford. Right now, they just absolutely would not get repaired. I mean, I just cannot afford that. So how will she foot the handyman's bill? Well, she is going to the bank, the time bank. The basic premise of the time bank is that everyone has something of value to offer. Um, and generally, everyone has something in return that they may need and want. Jan has one time credit that she earned just by joining Sutton Shares. She decides to pay Susie one hour to help her in her garden. Susie then uses her time credit to have George come and put up some shelves. And George pays John the one time credit for a guitar lesson. John is excited. He can now pay Kate to show him how to use his new DLR camera. Which means that Kate can use the credit hour she earned to have Amar walk her dog while she is away on the weekend. And Amar uses the time credit to pay some of the hours he owes to Rose for knitting baby boots for his niece. You can see that there are lots of things people can offer and request. It is definitely not your typical bank transaction. Now, in this case, Judy is making a withdrawal by having these repairs done to her apartment. That means now she has to make a deposit. Which one do you want to do, this one? But instead of paying her repairman, Judy pays it forward. Seven o'clock? Yes! By giving free math lessons to eight-year-old Carlito, tutoring his mother, Julia, couldn't afford otherwise. It helps my mom a lot because she could save money if we need it. When you know that you can count on someone and that do it for free and that do it for real and that do it because they are really interested in helping, it's a lot. You get that, that love, that kindness. It is a circle of giving. So in a sense, it's paying it forward. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a form of paying it forward. You receive something, you provide something, you receive something, you provide something. So it is a form of paying it forward.